how do you develop a family legacy that actually like spans the test of time? What's up, guys? Welcome to another 5-Minute Fatherhood. We want to talk about the impact that family businesses can have on society. So one example of this that it gets a lot of press, obviously, is the company Chick-fil-A. And what we're talking about today isn't necessarily having a political conversation. I know that they've waded into those waters. What really fascinated me, what I wanted to tease out, Jeff, get your impression on, was when I discovered that uh, Truett Cathy, who started Chick-fil-A, yeah. actually had a covenant that he um, insisted that his children sign in order to get access to the business. So let me read a little bit about this. This is uh, according to Business Insider, Chick-fil-A founder S. Truett Cathy wrote in a memoir titled Eat More Chicken, um, Inspire More People, that he presented his children with a covenant to always uphold the company's Christian values as it becomes a major force in the culture, which included philanthropic work, never opening on Sunday, and never taking the company public. Wow. We will be faithful. This is a quote from the covenant. <clears throat> we will be faithful uh, to Christ's lordship in our lives. Kathy's covenant stated, as committed Christians, we will live a life of selfless, selfless devotion to his calling in our lives. We will prayerfully seek his leadership in all major decisions that impact our family and others. Our family roles as spouses to our lifelong mates, parents to our children, and loving aunts and uncles will be our priority. So, you know, I love the idea awesome. of multi-generational family businesses. One of the things that that really stands in contrast to is public companies that um, because they are financially, there's actually laws on the books where they have to do what's in the fiduciary interests of their shareholders. In other words, they have to prioritize the financial interests of the shareholders above oftentimes personally held values. There isn't a way for there to be strong enough values to overcome um, a lot of those things that take companies, corporations down a path where they basically don't have any values besides making money. And one of the great contrasts to that are the possibility that privately held family businesses can, especially multi-generationally, represent values that are different than necessarily the cultural values. They rep represent those families and the values that they have multi-generationally. And I think this is a really interesting idea. It's something that I'm, I'm really interested in. It's very difficult to do, by the way. I mean, for most family businesses, they do tend to fall apart in the second or third generation. Um, but how do you develop a family legacy that actually like spans the test of time. I'm very interested in, in watching all of these examples, especially ones that play out over multiple generations. And so I was really fascinated, Jeff, what, curious what your thoughts were, that he actually had a covenant and that the covenant was somehow how this got this asset got passed on generationally. What are your thoughts about yeah, that? Yeah, I love it. I mean, I think especially, and you have to kind of know where you're at in the generations, I think, but with particularly high level visionaries, I think you need to use that gift by making sure a vision can kind of be heated through generations. Um, and especially if you're the one responsible for inventing or starting something, I don't think it needs to be overbearing. I love that it's really just a couple things, right? It's like, don't go public, don't open on Sundays, and we'll be really generous with this. It's not like, you know, make every sandwich this way, this way, this way, and all these different things. It's not micromanaging with the vision, um, but it's a high level vision that he wants to push forward. And like you said, every company has a vision, whether it's for the shareholders, whether it's just the mission statement of making better products or squeezing out profit margins or whatever. So everyone already has one, but usually that's coming from like the boardroom, not from the father. And so I love that picture.